You may already know that in the summer of 2022, we bought an unfinished log cabin on an off-grid island property in remote British Columbia. What you may not know is the story of how we got there. Join us for the journey from the eastern U.S. to Canada's Pacific coast. An estimated 10,000 nautical miles will sail in under one year. Our story begins outside of Annapolis, Maryland, where Big Bear and Brian are on the hard and hard at work, with the many preparations required for a voyage of this magnitude. tent. It's nice and cool in here as you can imagine. <laughs> I'm spraying the paint on at this point. Uh, it's going very well. All the prep work always pays off. Shooting the bottom paint through a paint gun. It's a water-based, copper-free bottom paint that uh, is safe for aluminum. Big Bear is a semi-custom French-built Allure 399. She has a sleek and modern design with unique features including her aluminum hull, twin rudders, and lifting centerboard. Here comes that build montage you've been waiting for. and comfort, earning herself a Sail Magazine nomination for Best Boat of the Year in 2017's Annapolis Boat Show. The ocean has been central to Brian's life since the early days. Dreams of single-handed sailing the world were now a reality, with miles of adventures up and down the North American Atlantic coast, mostly as a bachelor.
the mountains of North Carolina, I'm getting ready to kiss my nursing job goodbye for the year and move aboard. Getting everything ready to move onto the boat has been a multi-step process for sure. It's amazing how much I still have to get rid of. I'm a horse girl who's fallen in love with a sailor. The ocean is a new wilderness for me. I'm equally nervous and excited to go, but the world's best friends and family will always make Appalachia home for me. We're heading to the Pacific Northwest to build an off-grid life together, immersed in nature, adapting with the changing climate. While I'm wrapping up here, Brian is preparing to launch. The Chesapeake Bay, we are heading south. This is a map of the Gulf Stream, which flows north in a very strong and very concentrated pattern. When water flows against wind, at the surface of the water gets very angry. Horrible waves make sailing very hard. And when you're sailing south, you want the wind to be out of the north. You run into the conundrum where to have any kind of good wind to sail south out and around the Outer Banks. You're running your wind right up against the strong current, and you're also fighting the current, which slows your progress. Your options are to cross the Gulf Stream and stay offshore as far as you're going south, and then cross it again to get back inshore. Or the second option, take the Intercoastal Waterway, otherwise known as the ICW. And there's actually two options on the ICW, main route, and then there's an optional route called the Dismal Swamp Canal. You can pop out just on the south end of the Outer Banks. You can see that you can skirt the current and actually make progress all the way down to Florida. Appalachian sunrise.